Finally, I caught you. Oh, I'm not after your patronage. I have something I'd like the Knights of Favonius to do for me, and I want you to pass on my request to the Acting Grand Master. Oh, so it's Jean you were really hoping to see. You are close with her. Really? It must be a good feeling knowing Jean's got your back. What do you think this is, kiddo? A fruit juice store? <sighs> How rude! Especially since we're here to help! Help? Oh, yes! You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great! Tell Jean I need... Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files, and I will <coughs> make arrangements accordingly. Great! We didn't miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? Sarah's Hilly Churls, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. Seems that's everything. We'll be on our way then, Jean. Jean, are you okay? How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise, though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Oh, uh, you think so? I, I, I mean, she's the acting grandmaster and all. And we can't have her collapsing all the time now, can we? So, so, you know, it's not like this is a personal thing. It's just out of love for oh, concern for the greater good. Yes, that's it. to me. <sighs> After all that searching... Oh, Princey, how could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. Look at you. <laughs> Did Prince take you on a bit of a wild goose chase then? <laughs> Cheer up. Even if you didn't catch him, he's back here thanks to you. Oh, and he still has the astral iron strings with him. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, 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 <laughs> apologies. <laughs> At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, now 
Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, 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 Got it. I'll set off right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly trails on the delivery route? Oh. Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed at the number of orders piling up in front of me. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful! You really are the good hunter's guardian angel. Yeah, well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful, too. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure she can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the Good Hunter's business. A fight? <sighs> For this dish we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, yes, right! Have you brought me three sweet flowers and three fat? Yep, that's everything. Now, order number seven is for one sweet madame. And so begins the story of us becoming basic kitchen hands. You did say you'd help Good Hunter out. Be sure to serve it while it's hot. Any news on that sweet madame? One sweet madame received. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I do not know if I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger. better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. It looked like you were struggling. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? <sighs> the protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? <sighs> I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. A kind yet formidable woman. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. As the Lion Tooth Knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. 
Then she founded the Knights of Favonius and became known as the Dandelion Knight, spreading grace and compassion throughout the land. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius Masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Tooth Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight and yet as fierce as the Lion Tooth Knight. Yes, I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. Paimon thinks so too. Huh? Jean? Who's there? <laughs> Caught red-handed. Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything. How did they know about Jean's condition? Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. <clears throat> Since this opportunity has slipped away, I shall now be slipped. Stop! <coughs> After him. <coughs> Jean, you're still recovering. No, I must go after him. <sighs> Jean, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Uh, I do trust you, but to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of duty. Fine, but at least let us go with you. Uh, thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. How badly are you hurt? Oh, one of my own being injured because of me is the last thing I would wish for. Let me handle this alone. No, you are in no state to handle this alone. We're coming too. <sighs> okay, but before we move out, at least let me heal everyone with my dandelion breeze. Thanks, you're amazing. <laughs> Yeah. 
Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. The main thing is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes. I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she is not upset with me. Master, you finally returned. The Animal Archon protects you. Swan, were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's Share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting Grandmaster. Huh? Well, if you say so, Swan, I will go. I should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I have had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. Now he's dumping things onto Jean. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? What's all this? It's a thank you party for you! A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we'd take this chance to throw you a party. Enjoy yourself, Jean. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> uh... Jean? I... Uh... Huh? Is this Jean when she's... shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... this is just all such a surprise. Thank you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us, day in and day out. But there are so many things I still need to do. I spent so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Every last task. Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. And the tax returns? Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. It is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind all of this. See all of this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. 
Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, uh, Master Diluc, I... Agreed. Now, let the party begin! It looks like everyone seems to be partying hard. Paimon thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Oh, and Paimon thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Leaving the hustle and bustle of the banquet behind them, the two of them stood there, together, in the quiet of the night, while the rest of the world melted away around them. Sounds like the sort of thing you'd find in a romantic novel, no? I'm not trying to get you to recite poetry to me or anything. I'm just saying, Jean went upstairs to the balcony, alone. Now's your chance. <laughs> <sighs> this is quite a lot of excitement considering the idea was to relax and take it easy. Would a drink help you relax? Uh. Is there anything without alcohol? What do you normally drink? Oh, you know, I normally mix a few things together, but I always add some bright red. Red? Let me guess, tomatoes. No, watermelon. <laughs> Chilies. I add chili peppers. Chili pepper? In a drink? Oh, wow! Amber, you look like you're about to burst into tears. Whatever is the matter? Two things. One, this sweet madame. Two, this sticky honey roast. Did you make them? Mm, I refuse to believe it. Where did you suddenly learn to cook so well? I'm going to finish eating this, and then you're going to teach me everything you know. Don't you dare try and run off. Um, 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 um. Has Amber been drinking? Hey, having a good time? The thing is, Jean knows all of us so well now. When someone organizes a surprise party for you, the closer you are to them, the more bashful you tend to feel about the whole thing. So instead, we just gave you all the credit. After all, you did do more than your fair share of the work anyway. Of course! This party was clearly Kaya's idea. Shy Kaya? This is gold. <laughs> you think so? So you admit it! <laughs> I'm only indulging you since it's such a special day today. That's glass number 37. What's Diluc doing? I'm keeping count of this bard's alarming pace of progress through my wine. Only the knights drink for free tonight. It seems he didn't get the message. When he sobers up, I will present him with the bill. Diluc! You're a meanie! I'm joking, of course. I highly doubt he could afford it anyway, so I shall spare him the bill. But I must say, the sheer volume of alcohol this fellow can put back is just not normal. Oh, my word! The Tawn Winery's wine is every bit as delectable as they say! I would never be able to afford this normally. So, in the spirit of enjoying the moment while it lasts, another glass for the bard, please! Venti can drink a frightening amount. Ah, oh, hello! <laughs> I didn't see you there. I blame the wine for monopolizing my attention. <laughs> Much like my balance, it deserves to be enjoyed for generations to come. What is this floating sensation I feel? Have I discovered the true meaning of animal power? 
That would be the drink talking. I hereby declare that every son and daughter of the City of the Wind must be compelled to taste this finest of wines. <laughs> Here's the good wine! It is you. Yes, I am just getting some air. Uh oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. It is good to be here together with everyone, it has lifted my spirits. And it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion tooth knight. The lion tooth knight represents Vanessa's past, a past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt. But it was the dandelion knight that represented her hopes for the future, a future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Let the wind lead. The winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. <laughs> 